From the station that made country music famous, 650 AM WSM, this is a Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Hey, it's Charlie Maddox, and welcome to our Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Always a pleasure to welcome John Barry in studio, but extra special when we're talking Christmas time. 25th anniversary, silver anniversary Christmas tour for John Barry was getting set to kick off when he joined us on the morning of November the 24th of 2021. Enjoy our Coffee Country and Cody podcast with John Barry. John Barry, my heart is Bethlehem. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. It's a treat it's so to be here with you guys. You. This is awesome. Oh my goodness, twenty is this right? Twenty five years. Twenty five years will be our twenty fifth year doing our Christmas tour. Oh my goodness. All of a sudden. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it went by pretty fast, yeah, right? All of a sudden. Here the we are. Silver anniversary. Tell us how it first started, the very first one. Well, it started because uh when my wife Robin and I got married in nineteen eighty eight. Um, our pastor at her church where she grew up, uh, Fred uh, Rowell, he asked if we would do a little Christmas program at, at church that Christmas of 88. And so Robin and I and our uh, her sister-in-law, Tracy, who's a wonderful singer, and our church pianist, Betsy Williams, we did a little church program. And um, we did a number of songs, O Come Emmanuel, O Holy Night, a lot of traditional Christmas things. And it went really, really well. It was, it was all, it, it, you got to understand now that it, also the the local Baptist church, Green Acres Baptist Church, it's the place to be. <laughs> um, <laughs> they weren't quite sure about John Barry coming to the church to do a Christmas show because I was the guy that sang at the bars in Athens. Don't be bringing that played, rock and roll music played, up in here. I played five nights a week at the clubs, right. you know down at the club mm-hmm. and uh but fred saw something in me that maybe i didn't even see in myself you know and but fred loved me singing oh holy night he just he, he and then they invited us to come back the next year and it grew over the years to uh we had a guy who played fiddle in our group who also played first chair violin with the with the university of georgia symphony and so we ended up having a nice string section play with us at the church and it just kept growing. And then I signed my deal with Capital. Chuck Howard, who's my producer, overheard us talking about getting ready for the little Christmas show we were doing at Green Acres that year and getting the string parts done and all that stuff. He said, you know, we ought to go in and record a couple Christmas songs and see what we got. And um, it was we that, that was scheduled sometime early in 94 is when they came up with this idea. And we said, well, we're all going to be in town for fanfare. And so let's <laughs> let's take a day and fan, fan the week in June and and let's cut a couple of songs. And uh, so the second week of June of ninety four we had scheduled. Well, May tenth of ninety four I had brain surgery. Wow! And which I don't recommend unless you really need it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Um, but we so they were going to cancel the date, and I said, no, no, let's keep the date. I I need the distraction. Mm. So we went in and cut two songs: "O so Come Emmanuel" and "O Holy Night." Oh wow. So and, the the tour actually predated you. Well, it was just a show we were doing yeah. in Athens, mm-hmm. yeah. and then we cut this. We cut these two songs, and we captured something mm-hmm. that 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 day when we recorded those songs that you can't create, that you can't manufacture, right? Uh, because there I was thirty days. It was ri- li- literally just under thirty days after having brain surgery that I was in the studio cutting these songs. Oh my goodness. And uh, and it just we captured this little musical photograph of something you can't just recreate and it was a lot of fun and we had a great time and it just uh Capital ended up putting those two songs on a CD and sending them out to country radio. Mm-hmm. Not it was in a Christmas card and it wasn't to play cuz it was like five and a half minutes long oh holy night was mm-hmm. and it just said thank you so much for all the love and support during a difficult year because I you know 
right. it, it was a difficult year for me. And and uh, but somebody started playing it, mm-hmm. and Oh Holy Night just kind of blew up. It's one of those viral, viral before viral is viral. Your and, voice on it is absolutely my favorite version. Well, thank you. You're incredible. All I right. think if you listen to that old version that was recorded that so many years ago, um, that that's the art of recording for me is. And I think for anybody, is how much emotion or fun or whatever it is you're trying to convey can you create in the studio? Lightning in a bottle. That's what so, she did. So, yeah. so, so, 25 years later, you listen to it, you go, I still feel that. How much fun was Garth having when they cut Friends and Locust? <laughs> you know, I they, love that parallel. You know, you know? we're going to talk more about this coming up in just a All few right, seconds. Cool. John Barry is our guest in the studio this morning. Everybody, you're listening to 650 WSM and watching on Circle all over the world. Country plays here. Rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. That's John Barry, the beautiful sounds. Oh, there's the there's the note. So beautiful. John Barry doing Oh Holy Night. We were just talking about this in the break. You said because you were so close to having you had your brain surgery May tenth right. and then recorded this in June. Right. That you have no recollection of being in the studio recording that. No no recollection at all. That's incredible. Don't, even, don't recall. It went well. I'll yeah. tell you that. Okay. Uh, I can Surprise. confirm that it went well. But, hey, is my memory right on this? Speaking of memory, the the morning of your brain surgery is when you found out Your Love Amazes Me was the number yeah. one song in country music? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I couldn't remember. I kept yeah. asking how my song had done. Robin finally got a chart and pun- number one. St- stuck it up on my, by my bed at the hospital. Wow. I kept, oh, I kept asking, how, how'd my song do? <laughs> well, and it is just this incredible circumstance that you record this, that it goes out as a thank you at Christmas time, yeah. thinking that no one's going to play it because it yeah. is over five minutes long, yeah. which is not, you know, ideal for radio play. Right. And then to have it go on to be such an incredible it, part it tur- of it. It turned into uh, a little cottage industry for us. It's, you know, it's this little tour that we go out and do every year or. Nine, we usually do between 20 and 25 cities each year. This year we're at 19. Last year we were at six. Right. But, you know, so um, – but it's it's been great. And we there's some cities we go to uh, pretty often. Um, there's uh, one city, Macon, Georgia, the Grand Opera House in Macon, we've done every single year. I was going to ask you if there's anyone yeah. that's been on the list yeah. every year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, last year uh, the Opera House was closed. Um, but they moved us into the city auditorium, which they could get the same number of people – that the opera house would hold, mm-hmm. in because they could spread them out in city auditorium. Oh, wow. nice! And, uh, so they, the uh, the the mayor and other kind folks mm-hmm. there at the, in Macon did not want us to miss being mm-hmm. in Macon every single year. So. Mm-hmm. They worked it out so we could come. So It's interesting as everyone else is winding down, this is your busy season. You start oh, yeah. to ramp up. Mm-hmm. And as you said, this is rehearsal week and you're in it right now, rehearsing, yeah. going through everything. We're, we're like farmers. We plant seeds all year long. <laughs> right. and then, <laughs> then we harvest from Thanksgiving to Christmas. <laughs> what has Christmas been like for you? I, I want to hear some of those memories when you're on the road, because obviously the majority of the last 25 years you've spent on the road doing this tour. So My, what are yeah. some of those? memories that you take back and you think i'm i'm really thankful this happened the way it did well we there's some interesting things that happened but because i think one of the some of the coolest things that have come about with the christmas tour is how we have been part of people's christmas yeah mm-hmm. how we have been a part of these families that come time and time again uh, and speaking of making georgia there's a family that has been coming Every single year, mm-hmm. they're, they're uh, the husband and wife and their two girls. They were five and seven when they started coming. A couple of years ago, one of the girls, unbeknownst to her, uh, a young man was in the audience. He did not come with them because he wasn't part of the family. He was her boyfriend, but he wasn't part of the family. He wasn't allowed to come. This was a family event for them. Mm-hmm. He had his own ticket somewhere else in the hall, and they didn't know it. I knew it, and I knew he had a ring in his pocket. <gasps> Oh, wow. And so during the first yeah. set, the hits portion of the show, we played the song, Will You Marry Me? And I, I called her out and I said, there's a, a young man here who's got a question he'd like to talk to you about during this next song. So they got engaged at our show. Oh, so wow. to have so many 
things and little little vignettes and little people little pictures in people's lives that we're a part of mm-hmm. it's a it's a really neat thing and to to have people come and tell me how much they've enjoyed over the years putting on my christmas music and decorating their tree mm-hmm. and and things like that it's you know, it's, it's a pretty cool thing to have those moments in people's lives did the boyfriend get to sit with the family then because after technically that, he was family after that okay i just wanted that, to make sure after that he got to sit with i him. wanted to clear that he's, up because i'm thinking well now technically yeah. fiance so yeah. close so, enough so they, in in the circle of trust to quote <laughs> right. robert de niro right. from uh, from meet the parents i'm so, sure the dad yeah. was like yeah. all right son i'll let you sit here yeah. Yeah. John Barry with hey, and you're gonna guess, got to spend a a couple of special nights at the Opry in mm-hmm. December, too. You're going to be a part of Opry Country yeah. Christmas on Sunday the 5th. Not this yeah. Sunday, but next Sunday. And then Christmas night at the Grand Ole Opry. It, that's a magical time in Christmas that building. Christmas night at the Opry, yeah. man. How yeah. awesome yeah. is that? What a nice invitation. This is going to be an incredible night for you. And I know everybody, mm-hmm. not to say that they're all eyes on you, but all eyes are going to be on you because <laughs> it's Christmas. Now, this is like the pinnacle for you, definitely. It, it's a lot of fun. We, we have been blessed to get to go do this every year and just sing. Somebody said, you know, uh, uh, if, if you want to get, do you, do you think you'll be known as the, the guy singing Christmas songs, singing Oh Holy Night? I said, if, I'm, if that's all I'm ever known for, singing Oh Holy Night. Mm-hmm. I'm singing a song about Jesus being born. I'm I'm good with that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. When you are looking back on your Christmas memories, what were your favorite Christmas carols to listen to when you were a kid? Oh gosh, just there's so many great songs, and 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 um, I, I, Oh Come Emmanuel is one in particular that I have really fond memories of hearing my mom sing at church, and she, my mom had a lovely voice, and I loved hearing her sing that song, and. But there was just a, a lot of as a kid, you know, you love all the fun songs and, mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. And but we have we've we've had such a lot of we've had had such great times as a family. We lived north of Athens, Georgia, for many years on a farm that we built. And and every year when um, my brother in laws were able to make it home, they're military guys. They would come and spend Christmas with us. And but Christmas Eve at our house was always a, a busy time with um, getting ready for Christmas, but. As the sun would go down, the guys would go all go across the street and get a big bonfire going in the pasture across the street, and I get the tractor out with the hay wagon and load all the kids and load them up on the hay wagon, and we'd take them for a hay ride and and just the the whole gathering of our family and all the kids on the hay wagon singing songs and young ones looking for something flying through the sky mm-hmm. you know <laughs> looking for a sleigh going through the sky and it's just it's just great times as a family you know it's a time to be together and it's pretty remarkable those are the memories that you want to try to replicate but sometimes it's it's that little moment in time where you're like i I don't know if we can do that again you try to make it what you remember it and then it doesn't quite come out exactly the same i've tried to do that a couple times and then you go you know what it is what it is yeah we have our christmas it is trying trying to manufacture it (laughs) it never works never works clark griswold we know it doesn't work yeah Yeah. well and And, when when you look on stage you got the family in the band too right yeah Yeah. my my son kaylin plays drums with us and my wife robin's been singing with me forever and uh so it's it's always it's a good time you know, no doubt so you put everybody to work on the 25th do yeah. you celebrate <laughs> then on the 26th do you kind of take a couple of days after and just breathe well, uh, and my, decompress? my uh my son kaylin who plays with us lives in gallatin and okay. he and his wife and uh exciting news that they're expecting their first child in the spring <gasps> oh wow congratulations and, uh, yeah and uh our son sean and his wife kayla both my boys named girls named kayla uh-huh. they married, oh, wow. married girls named yeah. kayla they're That's not trying confusing. to make it easier for dad yeah okay yeah. and uh <laughs> but they they have a little girl uh, that's uh she'll be two in the spring what does she call you uh, uh papa your papa yeah. okay oh yeah. and i like uh, that yeah. but she's she's starting to be able to talk a little bit and uh, she calls me papa and uh but they, they live in East Texas, and they're coming in for Christmas. And my daughter, Taylor Marie, and her husband, Lance, they live in Jacksonville, and they're coming in. So everybody will be home mm-hmm. for a few days for Christmas this year. So oh, it's my been the first time in a couple of years. Oh, Papa's so sweet. Now, it's not as sweet as our longtime traffic man for 40 years here, Richard Thomas, what his grandchildren called him. What's they called that? him Richard. Uh, <laughs> Richard? <laughs> you know, Papa's fine, you know. So. <laughs> I like Papa. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming in and visiting thank with you. us. Thank you for spending you. part of your time at the office. Again, December 5th and then on the 25th. The tour starts this weekend coming up in uh, High Point. You're going to be in North Carolina. High Point, North Carolina. 
You can see the list of dates. Got 19 different cities that he's going to be visiting. JohnBerry.com, easiest way to find you. JohnBerry.com. Guys, go see him and make your own family traditions with John Berry. You might even get engaged. I got to give a shout out to Creekside Fellowship up in uh, Castilian Springs. Yes. For loaning us their church to rehearse this week. There you go. That's very 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 nice nice of them. Good sound in the church. Oh, yeah. 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 And you're going to make plans for a national championship game come uh, Uh, January? Yes. (laughs) I got my red and black jacket here somewhere. All right. Go, dogs. John Barry in the studio with us this morning. How about a little Oh, Come All You Faithful from John Barry? We're putting you in the Christmas mood right here on WSM. Thank you, John. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to be. Thanks for listening to our Coffee Country and Cody podcast. Our program director at WSM Radio is J. Patrick Tittle. Our digital producer is Haley Hall. Marketing and Promotions Director is Amanda Cannon. And I'm Charlie Mattos. If you like what you've heard, make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And leave us a review on iTunes. It really does help new people find the show.